Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Visit with Don Clark of Kingston, Ohio, and he won't hesitate to tell you his favorite brand of tractor. I collect basically anything to do with Alzheimer's. One of the top tractors in Don's lawn and garden collection is this 1962 B1. It stands out right away because of the color. It's not the typical orange we're used to seeing on Alice Chalmers machines. That's because the tractors were actually manufactured by Simplicity. The dealers wanted a lawnmower garden tractor. Needless to say, they didn't have that in their factories. Since Simplicity was just a few miles away from the main factory in Wisconsin, uh, they had an agreement with Simplicity to manufacture the tractors for Alice Chalmers. Simplicity themselves were orange, and to be different than Simplicity, I guess they made them an industrial yellow. Uh, eventually, Alice Chalmers did go to the orange garden tractors, uh, probably the early 70s. As far as Alice Chalmers actually making garden tractors, it was just a short period of time, but uh, if you look at Simplicities, they're almost identical to the Alice Chalmers. Built in South Carolina and sold from 1961 to 1963, the Alice B1 was powered by a seven and a quarter horse Briggs and Stratton engine. The transmission featured three forward gears and one reverse. First gear would have you moving at two miles an hour. Third gear would have you racing along at up to six miles an hour. And there were plenty of options for attachments, like this tiller, which is also from those early days of the 1960s. This particular model came with the V1. The tillers basically were all the same, but I got several tillers of several different models, and maybe there's a few modifications, but they, they basically operate all the same. They're all belt drive, and uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of difference in uh, maybe uh, just the cosmetic difference in the tillers. The dual tires is an option available with this tractor and some of the earlier V1s. I'm not sure that you would necessarily need them for the tiller, but it was an option that was offered with this tractor. They had the wheel weights, they had front end weights, uh, they had what they called a donut weight that would, that would fit back here. Um, if you had the blade under the middle, you would need that. So there were several options. Alice Chalmers Lurcher shows the B1 weighs in at about 600 pounds. It is a small but mighty workhorse that Alice said could cut up to two acres of grass per hour and do hundreds of other jobs around the home or farm. Don is fairly new to collecting lawn and garden tractors, but he hasn't wasted any time filling out his collection. My dad started collecting tractors. I guess that got me started probably all 17 years ago. I started on it, and, I, and at one time I had 50 big tractors. I'm getting a little older, <laughs> so uh, I decided to get in the garden tractors because if they don't run, at least you can push them. If it's kind of rare, I try to get it. But I, I feel like I've done pretty good in what, what short amount of time I've been doing it. Don now has more than 60 garden tractors in his collection. And for him, it's more than just tractors. Check out this room filled with Alice Chalmers toys and memorabilia. Well, that's my uh, Alice Chalmers room. I don't so much anymore, but I used to collect the toys, the 16th scale toy tractors and I think there's about 170 of those in there, and they're all different. So I don't so much buy toys anymore because I think I got enough of them, and uh, my wife thinks I got enough of them anyway. She's the one that dusts them all for me. No doubt, Don Clark enjoys the part he plays in helping to preserve these pieces of America's agricultural history. He's especially happy to see that collecting lawn and garden tractors is catching on. I feel like people are starting to collect uh, garden tractors and probably uh, more of them will appear. I want people to keep them going and I'm glad there's people interested in them and I'm glad there's people making an effort to keep the interest around. So hopefully a, a new generation will pick up with the old tractors and uh, you know take off with it. That's what I hope anyhow. <laughs>